What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the video. Today what we are going to be doing is reviewing the brand new Mega Man G Fuel flavor called Blue Bomber Slushy. So if you guys did not know, recently G Fuel collaborated with Mega Man to make this flavor. Um, the tubs already went on sale a little bit ago and those should be shipping in June. But it looks like I have gotten my hands on the can version first uh, instead of the tub. So we're still going to do our tub review of course, but today I have the opportunity to try the can early which usually doesn't happen usually it's always a tub first and then the can so it's kind of a weird way around today but i am very very excited to taste this today now in terms of where you guys can get these mega man cans um i personally got this one at walmart i hear that they're going to be at walmart i don't know if they're going to be at all walmart or when and all that information but i have also seen some people that have gotten these at gas stations and stuff so I would just wait until G Fuel makes uh, more of an announcement. It's very early. They're just starting to roll out. So I would really be patient with these. And, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and all that kinds of stuff on when, you, when and where you can actually get these. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go ahead and take a look at this can. So as you guys can see here, we got the G Fuel logo. It's got like a blue background. And then we've got like the uh, yellow G Fuel turbine there, energy drink, zero sugar, uh, performance energy at the top there, extreme focus. And then we've got Mega Man himself right there. We've got the Mega Man font here, Blue Bomber Slushy. That is the name of the flavor. Now the flavor itself is supposed to be a vanilla blue, like a blue raspberry with vanilla. All right, so then moving on to this side, we've got just some facts and stuff about G Fuel on this side. So you get the G Fuel logo, limited edition, and then 300 milligrams of caffeine. The Ninja can has 140. I don't know why this one has 300. Maybe it's not as new as the Ninja batch. I'm not 100% sure, but this one does have 300 milligrams of caffeine. Energy, focus, endurance, reaction. You've got some other facts about G Fuel here. And then here is the label. If you guys want to take a look at it, there it is. And then here are the ingredients. If you guys want to read those as well. And then you've got the best by date over here as well. And then I've got the top of the can and boom. All right, guys, let's go ahead, open this baby up. Here we go. All right. This is a completely new flavor. I've never had it, so this is gonna be interesting. All right, let's go ahead and give it a smell, guys. Here we go. Whoa. Smells like blue chug rug. Sp smells like sour blue chug rug, but that's basically all it is. It just smells like a smooth blue raspberry. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pour some into my glass here with some ice cubes and give it a taste. All right. And if you did not know, all the G Fuel cans uh, do not have any dyes in them, so they're, they are clear. Let's go ahead and give it a go, guys. Here we go. Blue Bomber Slushy. Let's try it. You know, I'm going to say that when I first heard about Blue Bomber Slushy and I heard um, Blue Raspberry and Vanilla, I honestly thought it sounded kind of weird. And, you know, I've never really heard of that before. But I must say, I really like it. I think it really works. I don't know. There's something about the smoothness with the blue raspberry, the vanilla. It really does work. In terms of ratios, you're not really getting that much vanilla. I mean, it is... You know, when you take a sip of Flavor Bomb, the vanilla hits you strong. Um, but when it comes to Blue Bomber Slushy, 
I mean, I'm going to be honest. I think it's 75% a blue raspberry and maybe 25% vanilla right now. Let me try a, a, a taste from uh, straight from the can and see if that changes anything. Because to be honest, uh, when you're having it with ice cubes in here and then you have it straight from the can, it actually tastes quite different. And there's definitely a taste difference from cold to warm. So let's go ahead and try it from the can. I feel like there's more blue raspberry coming through when I have it straight from the can. And more sourness and tartness for sure. It, should, it could just be because it's more carbonated right in the can uh, and it's making me think that it's more sour and tart versus in here. But overall, wow, it is really good. I actually really like it, guys. Um, I personally think it's better than Ninja's Cotton Candy. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, I am more of a fruit man, and I'm not just like a sugary candy type of person. So um, I personally, that blue raspberry with the touch of vanilla, I really like it. I didn't think I would like it, to be honest. But something about it works. I just, I really do like it. Something about this definitely works together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so in terms of a ranking for the Blue Bomber slushy, where am I going to put it? So, um, I don't know. So I, I think, in my personal opinion, Blue Bomber slushy is above the Ninja flavor. It's above Blue Chug Rug. I personally think Sour Blue Chug Rug in the can is a little too sour, and it just hits me a little bit too hard, and I'm not for it, to be honest. I also think it's better than Bobby Boysenberry. I also think it's better than Black on Blackberry. I'm having a hard time deciding if Blue Bomber Slushy stays at the top or really good or goes into God tier. Personally, mm, I don't know yet, guys. I think I want to put Blue Bomber Slushy in really good in the really good category all the way at the top, and that's gonna give it about an 8.5 out of 10. I just don't know if it's ready for God tier yet. I can't decide if it's better than Orange Vibe in the can because Orange Vibe is really good in the can. And I this is really good as well, but I don't think it gets up to the God tier, but it's very close. So this is going to go in my really good category all the way at the top, and it's going to get an 8.5 uh, out of 10. I think it's better than Ninja flavor just because it has more to it, more depth, and there's just more going on. You know, you can taste the vanilla. You can taste the blue raspberry. It's just got more going on, and I really like that. Also, just want to give a huge thank you to everybody, yet again, using Code Shock recently. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we have the Diablo flavor coming out. We just had the uh, Legendary Collector's Box come out today. So thank you to everybody that's been using my code on that. Uh, on Thursday morning, so the day after Diablo launches, my code will be turning 30% off. So I want to thank anybody that does use it. And if you guys do use Code Shock, make sure to tweet me on Twitter. And when I am allowed to give away a Ninja Can or a Mega Man Can, I will definitely uh, pick one of you guys very soon on Twitter. So thank you, everybody, for watching this video. Thank you for watching the review. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. And remember... Check your local Walmarts, gas stations, and all that good stuff, and look out for Mega Man and the Ninja Can, because I'm sure they are going to be popping up soon. Um, and like I said, I don't know if they're going to be in all the Walmarts or what's going on with all that, but I know they're in some of them right now. So thank you guys for watching, and peace out, ladies and gentlemen.